Hello, in this Pixaflux view tutorial, you will learn how to clone and transform texture elements in your composition using the stamp node. The stamp node takes as input one or more images and clones them to different locations using transforms. The transform images are blended together with their own key. In. in this project, I have a model with a washer and a screw texture element composed by four PBR image components albedo metalness, roughness, and normal. The transform node allows us to translate, rotate, and scale the texture element, but if I need more copies, I would need to duplicate the transform node and connect it to the mix nodes. Let's undo these changes. The stamp node does the same job, but all transforms are contained in the same node, reducing complexity in the node graph. Drag and drop a new stamp node. Connect the input images. Connect the outputs to the mix nodes, replacing the connections from the transform node. Now we can delete the transform node. In the stamp node attributes panel, click the plus button to add a new transform. In the viewport, use the transform manipulator to position the texture element. Click on a corner point to scale the manipulator. Use the shift key to keep the aspect radio. Click inside the transform manipulator to translate the images. Click outside the manipulator to rotate the images. Click the axis gizmo to drag it to a different position. Now rotations and scale happen around the axis. You can also use the manipulator toolbar to transform the images in local coordinates. Clone the transform using the clone button and position the new texture element. Repeat until you have all copies. Use the delete button to delete unwanted transforms. The stamp node can keep the texture elements in their locations, even if the size or position of the input images change. For example, I can change the screw image. Or if I increase the radius of the washer, it stays centered to the screw. This is how you can use the stamp node to create and arrange multiple copies of your texture elements. Thank you for watching this Pixaflux video tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Google+.